everyone, and we're very happy today to be joined by three elite basketball players, high school players all vying for the coveted Miss Basketball for the State of Michigan 2020, a very prestigious award. Let me take this opportunity to uh, introduce. We'll start on the far end. This is Whitney Solom from Heartland High School. In the middle, Gabrielle Elliott from Detroit Edison, and from East Lansing High School, Aaliyah Nye. Ladies, welcome. Thank you for joining me before we uh, get started. Do you know where you are? Henry Ford. You're at Henry Ford High School. Can you be a little more specific? Your high school. Your own high school. <laughs> and in my gymnasium, you are in my house. <laughs> so I really welcome you and appreciate you being here. Have you noticed uh, changes in the game since you first started as young girls? Can you talk about that and, and what, it, what it's like to be part of this, this growth of um, girls' basketball and women's basketball right now? Just the speed of um, the game has just increased ever since. Uh, like when you get older, the girls starting, start getting bigger. And I mean, all three of us have been successful because we are um, just hungry for the game and we just want to compete and play it at the best level. So. We have come a long way and we have a longer way to go, but we're getting there and us through sitting here is going to be a part of that. The game, our game that we bring to the game of basketball is different and it's elevating and it's getting better and it's something you love to see as a female basketball player. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the athletic side of it, like there are women dunking, there's like so much more that has been like that has came to women's basketball. I think it's just great and it's growing a lot. And I just want to be a part of that and want to show like not only boys basketball can be entertaining, but also girls. Have you girls had a chance to see each other play much? Have you ever played <laughs> together? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Talk about that in terms of when you guys get a chance to play together. Um, getting to play together with Ali is fun because you, I know what type of player she is. Like she's a shooter. Like that's what I love about her. It's like playing the AAU. No matter where she is, Liz gonna shoot it. I know she's gonna make it. So it's like I know that I love that about her. And she's so funny. And her <laughs> like her dad is so cool. Like her family is like really fun. So it's like a, a great opportunity to get to play with her. Like aside from having to play against her during high school season. Yeah, I could say the same for Gabby. Like she's very competitive and. If we're down, you know she's going to get the ball and try to make something happen. And she's just fun to be around, even though she's, like, kind of quiet. And I'm kind of quiet, too, but, like, I think she's a great teammate. And we're just to have her on the team is just awesome. And I'm glad that I got to play with her. I found it very interesting, um, the diverse uh, uh, representation of, of your, your favorite basketball players. Aaliyah, you put down Cassius Winston of uh, Michigan State. Yeah. Why is he your favorite player? I watch a lot of MSU basketball because I live in East Lansing. And the way he plays is just awesome. Like, he is definitely the definition of a leader. And also the mental side of his game, it's just great. When, I don't want to bring this up, but like when his brother passed and he played that, I'm pretty sure that night or the next day, it was just amazing how strong he came out there. And that's what something I want to build in my game is the mental side of it. So that just... It was just a wow factor when I saw him play. I think it's very appropriate to bring that up because that showed an amazing amount of courage, strength, yeah. fortitude to be able to do that. Gabby, you have Kawhi Leonard, who yes. I, I like Kawhi as well. He plays with the Clippers now. He's won a couple of championships. Why Kawhi Leonard? Uh, his game is just, it speaks for itself. He's, he's not a big talker. He doesn't right. really get into it with the press or just anything. He's a family person and he's all about the game and that's what I love. Like I don't really deal too much with social media or things like that. I play basketball, that's it. And you know, let everything speak for itself and like it's so that's literally Kawhi Leonard in every sense of the word and it's like I just love him. And a star in the WNBA, Elena Deladon, who is a fantastic uh, basketball player and representative of the game. Yeah, so I chose Elena Deladon because she is just, I mean, I look up to her. She's my idol, and um, everything that she does, she's an all-around player. She can play any position on the court, and I feel like I can do that as well. So um, just learning from her and just the things that she does 
outside of basketball, helping with special needs and what she's gone through with her career. It really like inspired me and um, she's really a true basketball player and a really good person, so. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would agree with that in, in her representation of what she's been able to achieve and accomplish. But I wanna, I wanna hear from all of you about your education, uh, who inspired you, who keeps you grounded, and, and who makes you understand that there has to be a balance between academics and athletics? Um, I think a person that keeps me grounded on my academics is my mom. Like she always reinforces or like tells me like basketball isn't always gonna be there so you have to have a good education. And that's why like I chose engineering as well. Like I really like math and I know it can take me far and there's not many like women engineers out there so I just want to be a part of that. Um, I would say my inspiration have uh, really been like my parents. They have pushed me to be um, the best player and um, best student out there so them telling me that I'm gonna have a life after basketball so I have to choose a career that I'm gonna be I'm gonna fall in love with and just do for the rest of my life. Uh, someone who keeps me grounded is my brother uh, I have four brothers, but only one of them actually plays a sport as well as I do. So he's a school teacher here in the city of Detroit. So he makes sure that I know that basketball isn't everything. Like you really need to make sure that you have vacation no matter what, because one day the basketball will stop dribbling and you want to be able to do something other than dribble a basketball. And so I take that always with me and he's always in my ear making sure I don't forget it. So that's someone who keeps me grounded and I truly appreciate him for that. Well, ladies, I want you to know that it has been my pleasure to sit in your presence. Knowing what I know about the commitment that it takes to be both good students and the best basketball players that you can be. And clearly, I will be watching and cheering for you as you move on to the University of Michigan, to Clemson, and to the University of Illinois. And I want to thank you for being a part of this today. Thank you. Thank you.